For the most efficient use of weapons aboard ship in a multi-target environment, it is imperative that rapid, accurate information regarding the three-dimensional position, course, and speed of each target is continuously known. Towards obtaining this information, conventional radar systems employed individual types of equipment, such as for long-range air surveillance, target indication, height finding, and surface warning. The arrangement of these radars on board ship created problems with respect to the free sight of the aerials, available space, and weight. There was also the difficulty of coordinating the different types of radars. The information presented was often stale and of low accuracy, rendering the system severely limited in its target handling capacity. Holland Signal's three-dimensional multi-target tracking radar is an integrated system which performs all the functions of conventional systems with much greater speed and accuracy. The target tracking capacity is 100 targets or more. The system performs the following functions. Long-range air surveillance. Low angle warning with high data rate. Surface search. Automatic detection of air targets. Automatic tracking of air targets in three coordinates with high precision. Automatic tracking of surface targets. Digital data output to data handling system. High quality multi-target tracking can only be achieved by automation since manual actions are too slow and inaccurate. Therefore, to obtain the best scan efficiency, the available RF energy is computer controlled. Two distinct functions are present in the system. Search, the data rate increasing with decreasing range and three-dimensional tracking, radar energy is programmed on individual targets. The principle of operation is as follows. Automatic detection of each new target. Automatic height measurement. Every one and a half seconds, an automatic 3D position measurement. This automatic routine is applied to all targets simultaneously. The conventional arrangement of several single-purpose radar aerials is now replaced by one multi-purpose aerial system, which rotates on a stabilized platform 20 times per minute. Three aerials provide the search coverage by means of six different beams. Parabolic reflector 1 radiates beam 1, 4, or 5. Parabolic reflector 2 radiates beam 2 or 3. A multi-element aerial radiates beam 6, which provides, when required, an elevation coverage up to 45 degrees. The two tracking aerials are of the frequency scanning type. Mounted in a slanted position, they perform either a pure vertical scan for height finding or a cross-shaped scan for three-dimensional position measurement. The search coverage is built up as follows. During rotation 1, beams 1 and 5 are radiated. During rotation 2, beams 1 and 2. During rotation 3, beams 1 and 3. During rotation 4, beams 1 and 4. Excellent high data rate warning against low-flying aircraft is provided by beam 1, which is radiated each rotation. Coverage ranges up to 240 nautical miles, more than 100,000 feet in height, and to approximately 45 degrees of elevation. When a target has been detected by the search system, its range and azimuth are known. When the slanted scanning plane of a tracking aerial passes the target azimuth, the frequencies of the successive transmitter pulses fed into the aerial are programmed so that the beam makes a vertical scan and the elevation is measured. One half rotation later, the other tracking aerial passes the target azimuth. Now a cross-shaped scan is made, centered on the predicted target position, measuring at the same time range, azimuth and elevation. The crosswise scan is also made by correctly programming the frequencies of the successive transmitter pulses. This measured data is used by the computer to update the track and to predict the target position for the following position measurement.
Thus, the height of each target is measured immediately after detection, followed by three-dimensional position measurements at a rate of 40 times per minute. All targets are tracked simultaneously. The capacity can be 100 targets or more, depending on computer programming and storage capacity. This high-quality three-dimensional tracking process provides the data rate and precision required for the operational task of the data handling system. The aerial system operates in an air-conditioned radon. Below decks, the equipment floor space required is about 16 by 40 feet. The equipment has been designed and constructed for use on board naval vessels. Equipment cabinets meet the shock and vibration requirements of specification DEF-133. <laughs> Sliding racks ensure easy access to components and circuitry. Solid state components are used to the maximum. The transmitter is a coherent chain of traveling wave tubes with an amplitron output stage. Operating in the S band, the transmitter occupies a band of 400 megacycles and generates a mean RF output of 15 kilowatts. A frequency control unit supplies the RF drive signal to the transmitter. All frequencies are crystal controlled and selected by the computer. The receiver cabinets contain anti-clutter and anti-interference measures, such as sensitivity time control, pulse length discrimination, DICAFIX, pulse interference suppression, and diversity moving target indication. Individual cabinets are checked by means of an automatic fault indication system on the main control desk. Correct functioning of the system is assured by means of an automatic system test. Several digital channels are checked by a test word procedure. Holanzi Signal's micro-miniaturized computer SMR is delivered integrated with the radar system. It is a high-speed general-purpose computer for online, real-time control. The automatic functions of the system can be monitored at the display console. In addition to the PPIs and the range height scope, it contains the controls for manual operations and for radar parameter selection. Under normal automatic operation, the PPI shows the echo of each target with an accompanying dot. Steady dots indicate targets tracked in three dimensions. Flashing dots indicate targets tracked in two dimensions. Clutter is minimized due to the effective combination of two anti-clutter measures. Diversity moving target indication for suppression of land and sea clutter and circular polarization for suppression of rain clutter. Without anti-clutter measures, the display would show a very different situation. A close-up of the same PPI shows land clutter stretching to beyond the second range ring, about 40 to 50 miles. And weather clutter is clearly visible just below the center of the display. With this condition, the computer would be quickly saturated. When both diversity moving target indication and circular polarization are employed, the effect of each will enhance the other to result in a display similar to the first condition. Now, automatic detection becomes possible with the aid of the search plot generator, which measures the range and azimuth of each target, while generating simultaneously a tick for each target. Each tick stands for an echo, be it a legitimate target or a clutter return of 
which the digital range and azimuth are transferred to the computer. Without the aid of both diversity moving target indication and circular polarization, the display would show a multitude of ticks, which would of course in no time saturate the computer. As a direct contrast, the same display is shown cleaned using all anti-clutter measures. From this clean data, the computer can build sensible tracks. To demonstrate this, the computer is switched in. First, only echoes are visible. When these echoes are recognized as targets, they are entered into the automatic tracking routine, first in two dimensions, flashing dots, and soon after in three dimensions, steady dots. Because target detection, position measurement and target tracking are all carried out automatically, it is possible to switch off the radar video and instead show a truly synthetic picture. This fast motion synthetic picture clearly demonstrates the multi-target tracking capability of the system. More than 60 targets are visible over a range scale of 128 nautical miles. Flashing dots indicate new targets in the process of entering the automatic tracking routine. When entered, the dots cease flashing and remain steady, signifying that each target is automatically and continuously tracked in three coordinates. Thus, Hollandse Signal's three-dimensional multi-target tracking radar system will simultaneously track 100 targets in three dimensions with high precision. In real time, and the weapon system using these track data will be capable of fast reaction, threat priority prediction, and intership weapon coordination. The system will suffer no saturation in a multi-target environment. 